praise the Lord, church. And we love him. We are not at a funeral today. Come on, let's love the Lord. He is worthy, worthy of all of our praise. Amen. Oh, the Lord is worthy. He is high and lifted up. And his glory fills the temple. We enjoy his presence, don't you? Amen. You may be seated. Would you ask the Lord to bless the uh, message today? Father, we are seated are here to meet with you with your blessing. We want to hear from your daughter, the pastor. Mighty Lord, please your word from, from her, the word of healing, the word of faith, Ready, the word that is going to talk things around Hallelujah. for everybody. Make make oh, our, make everything work through the way we want it. We don't want to go back the way we came, mighty Lord. Preach through your through the pastor to heal all the sick and affliction people among us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everybody Amen. said? Amen. Amen. I gotta tell you, I thought only Cubans had great bread. <laughs> I enjoyed the bread at that spaghetti dinner. It is like air. It is so light. I enjoyed it. We had a good time in the Lord and the Lord gave us an increase. Is that all right? I thank you, Sister Ina, for being here this morning. As many of you know, continue to uplift her. Her brother has passed away. And uh, with people coming from other countries, it takes a while to get that funeral together. So continue to hold her up in prayer. Are you ready for the Lord? Yeah, yeah. I am too. I want to talk to you today about being endued. What is endued? Well, it's covered. It's blanketed. It's shrouded. It's engulfed. And we are talking about being endued with power from on high. When God makes a promise to his people, he is a faithful God and he carries it out, doesn't he? Endued with power. Endow or provide with an ability or a quality. I would like to ask today how many of us have the ability and the quality that is provided by the Holy Spirit. Can you claim that today? Are you filled with His Spirit? Then you have been endued. You have been covered by the blood of the Lord. Next slide, please. Empowerment. We talk about empowering women and empowering people for all kinds of things. But this morning, within the sound of my voice, I want to empower you in the Holy Ghost that you possess. We are a people of the name. We are a people of the power. Amen? Amen. In Acts 1.8, it says, Ye shall receive when the Holy Ghost comes power. Power to preach. Power to pray. Power to witness. Power to get a hold of God. Power to heal the sick. Amen. When you are sick, the Bible says, call for the elders of a church of the church. Many times I have been prayed for by the elders here. And I have been healed. Amen. Last week is the first Sunday I have shouted since January 20th. Amen. And I gotta tell you, I enjoyed it. Amen. I didn't even think about my foot. I just began. To worship the Lord and dance. Listen, there's nothing wrong. We are a people of the joy of the Holy Ghost. Are we not? Amen. Amen. The next slide, please. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? When you repent and you are baptized, you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ye shall receive what? Power after the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Well, Sister Twilight, why are you preaching that? Because I have three babies in Christ that don't have it. And we are the ones that pray with them. We build their faith in the Spirit. How many of you are an altar worker? I am Sister Rose. Yes, that is the power. We recognize the spirit of the Holy Ghost as it descends upon someone. 
That's when you guide them in the spirit. That's it. Let that go. It doesn't matter what it sounds like. You've heard me pray with people that need the Holy Ghost. God is getting ready to pour out his spirit. And you might look around today and say, well, he didn't pour it out too much. I'm telling you, in the Holy Ghost, God is getting ready to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And as Brother James was saying today, what about the Muslims? Don't they need the Lord? Amen. Yes. We want to engulf, include every other faith and bring them to Jesus Christ. Because without God, we are nothing. I can get up here today, but if I don't have the anointing, I don't have anything to say. If he doesn't speak, nothing's worth hearing. It is the Lord. And the Bible said he didn't change. So if they were filled on the day that the Holy Ghost came, we should be filled. And as our cups come up and we begin to overflow, this is where I have seen most that the Holy Ghost fell on those that want it. As they worship and they praise the Lord, we get excited. We are happy. And the spirit of joy runs out of our cup and splashes onto others. Amen? Amen. I know I'm going back a lot of years, but David and I grew up in this church as teenagers. And whenever my brother kicked up that foot, I want you to know it always splashed on me. There was joy when you love someone to see them touched by the spirit of the Holy Ghost. It should bring joy to you. Amen. Likewise, if you're not rejoicing with them when they are rejoicing, is that love deep? Are we excited with them for the blessings of the Lord? I tell you this morning that we need to get excited about the blessings of the Lord because his yay is yay. His nay is nay. He is going to keep the promise that he promised to you and I. He is not a naysayer. I can do all things through Christ. Oh, you might be shy this morning. You might be bashful. You might be don't want anybody to see you. But I'm telling you, you can have that gift this morning if you are under the sound of my voice. The Holy Ghost will be poured out upon all flesh. Let's say it together. All flesh. Isn't that exciting? Well, you know, it really does make sense if you think about this this morning. Because the Lord doesn't dwell in temples made with hands. He dwells in the tables of flesh. He dwells within us. I don't know where that soul part is. It could be in the brain, but I think it is. Some people think of the heart. I don't care as long as it's in there. Amen? Next slide, please. Empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. But Luke 24, 49 said, stay. I want you to repeat after me. Stay. Stay. Until you have been endued with power. Everybody say, stay again. Stay. Stay until you are endued with power from on high. That means, oh, I got to go catch this. Something's going on this afternoon. And, oh, I've got to go to the grocery store. I can't wake up another morning without uh, coffee me. I can't do this and I can't do that. We need as a congregation to keep our mind stayed on him. In this service, everything outside will take care of itself. There's a time for everything. But right now, we need to keep our mind stayed on him. This is what's going to bring us into the presence of the Lord. This is what's going to bring us the gift of the Holy Ghost falling upon our babies that have not yet received. We must have our mind stayed on him. The Lord is faithful. He's not the problem. Amen? But you and I, we need our mind stayed on him. Acts four, uh, 1, 4, and 5. Do not leave. I like that. Do not leave, but wait for the gift. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Do not leave. Yeah. Wait for 
for your gift. Yes. I smell Brother Jesus' spaghetti. Here I go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not during church. It'll be there when we say amen. amen. Keep your mind. Stay on the Lord and do not leave. He has promised you something and he is going to get it this morning. Amen? Next slide, please. Only have a few. You can't be the light of the world without the Holy Ghost, nor the savor, which we mean flavor. Amen. We can't be what God needs us to be without the Spirit. Amen. It's the Spirit that leads and guides us into all truth. When I'm tripping, falling, hurting, whatever, it is the Lord that says, oh, oh, here, here, Twyla, let me lead you over here. It'll be all right. Okay, Lord, you really want me to go there? Yes, I want you to go there. We know what we need to do by the spirit that is within us. It takes the spirit of the Lord to order our steps in the Lord. And if you're not filled, you're not ordered yet. That's not bad. You're here. And if you're here, you can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen? I am looking for the Lord to pour out his spirit. He said upon the young and the old, and I'm getting ahead of myself, we can't be the salt without flavor. Amen. I know I have been reading a book lately. Um, it's a very old book. It's been published hundreds of times. But when I found the book and I began to read after this man, um, I love the way he expounded upon things that you and I take for granted. And he took it in such depth that I was surprised. You see, God will take us places we have never been before. And Scotty's not going to beam me up, okay? I'm not going to get beamed up. But the, little, the Holy Ghost is going to beam down and supply what we need. If we come to you and we say in the name of Jesus Christ, be thou made whole, we should expect it. Yes. Amen. If we have our Holy Spirit filled to the top, we should be able to say, be thou made whole. Amen. A lot of times I'll ask, do you believe the Lord can heal you? Yes. And if they say yes, then we pray. Yes. And then we believe that you will be made whole. Yes. Amen? Amen? Oh, we serve a good God. Oh, yes. I think I have one more. I believe. The evidence of the Holy Ghost is speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. This promise came after we were baptized. You all looking at me saying, I know that. I love this picture, by the way. Because the Holy Ghost came and sat upon them like cloven tongues of fire. But you know what it did? It did more than just sit. It endued them. This morning, we need to be endued Amen. to follow Amen. the spirit of the Holy Amen. Ghost. Do not be afraid to cross the aisle and pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. You're not out of order. It's not out of order for you to seek to bless another. All your lives, those of you that have been here know I leave the platform and I'll go pray for somebody. If God tells you to go, you better go. Amen. Amen. We don't want to be whipped by the Lord for sure. Amen. Amen. God will use you, but you must obey. Amen. You must fill your cup. This bottle is no longer full. I could see it as partially empty, but I choose to see it as mostly full. If you have been endued, you will obey the Lord in the spirit of the Holy Ghost when you are needed. Amen. Amen. God made a promise. And I want, to, uh, want you to take note this morning of the similarities between these two promises from Joel, the second chapter, and the promise of Acts 2, 38 and 39. God's promise through Joel.